All that I, that was the divestment secretary speaking about the NTPC OFS. Remember, they are expecting to get about 5,000 crore rupees, and they've already gotten a significant portion about of that. But moving on, the budget is around the corner. The clock is ticking in less than six days now. Finance Minister Arun Jaitley would be presenting the budget for FY17, and in the run up to that, Grant Thornton conducted a survey to get a sense of the pulse of corporate sector and their demands from the upcoming budget. Rise Thingna of Grant Thornton is joining me now in the studio. Rise, thank you so much for joining in on the show. You know, to yes. begin with, take us through the key. Uh, uh, demands or key areas that corporate India wants. You've uh, interviewed or you've surveyed uh, promoters, chief executive officers, the top tier. What are the key reforms that they are hoping this budget session and the budget to address? Right. Uh, firstly, yes, uh, we've done a survey across 120 companies which cover public sector and private sector. So it's a fair representation of what corporate India wants. And uh, one interesting thing that's, that has come out is corporate India seems aligned with the government's uh, commitment towards in, uh, inducing investments today. So most of the results which have come out are in line with the governmental expectations, uh, so, so it appears. Mm. So firstly, on the tax rates, while uh, just uh, as the finance minister had uh, announced in the last budget, the cor corporate India is expecting a reduction in uh, tax rates. Mm -hmm. uh, the roadmap has still not come out, but so that is the roadmap which is expected. Mm -hmm. But also, most of the surveyed population, about 71% of the population, mm -hmm. believes that this will come at the cost of removing exemptions and deductions. Okay. So, uh, that again, mm -hmm. the government has often said that. Now, another interesting part is that uh, the government has also been talking about Make in India, Start Up India, and mm. uh, Stand Up India, these different uh, initiatives. Mm. And uh, while it has been talking about phasing out exemptions and deductions, mm. they are also talking about special incentives which will mm. need to be given to these initiatives to make them successful. Sure. So, largely, corporate India expects that mm. Start Up India and uh, made in make in India mm. are going to receive certain special uh, incentives or uh, tax holidays, so okay. to say. So okay. it'll be a tightrope walk for the government, phasing out deductions and also incentivizing some of the initiatives. Okay, you know, taking from that, from an indirect uh, taxation and direct taxation point of view, broadly, what are the areas that corporate India or what specifically does corporate India want that can ease in their balance sheet and make their life better? Well, uh, on the indirect tax front, we know that GST has been mired in yeah. political uh, problems, so there, we really don't know uh, mm -hmm. what's going to be the result of uh, this. But at the same time, a large percentage of the population believes that uh, GST will be introduced during this budget. Mm -hmm. And uh, also that uh, the input credits, the system of send -right credits, will be further rationalized and further eased out. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, there's a fear that uh, there will be uh, an increase in the service tax rates, yeah. and which is, uh, I think, 46% of the uh, persons mm -hmm. surveyed uh, do not uh, agree with that and uh, okay. are fearful about that increase. Okay. On the direct tax front, besides the uh, you know, assumption that exemptions will be phased out, there are uh, certain demands on uh, the in incentives which have to be introduced should be investment based. Mm -hmm. So they uh, spur investment rather than being uh, profit based. Mm -hmm. So that is one. On the procedural side, you have the ICDS yeah. implementation, yeah. which has uh, created a lot of uh, fear in the mind of at least the smaller sectors, the mm -hmm. SME sectors. Mm -hmm. So it is expected that a threshold limit will be introduced for application mm -hmm. of the ICDS uh, regime. Uh, a certain percentage also believes that it will be uh, deferred for a period of one year, okay. uh, as recommended by the Ishwar Committee report also. Okay. You know, over and above uh, taxation, Riyaz, uh, in terms of sector-specific schemes that the budget needs to address, uh, what specific uh, would be, or what are the specific sectors that need to be looked into, and what are the schemes that Corporate India wants as of now from the upcoming budget? Uh, well, uh, out here, uh, uh, the results of our survey are really showing that uh, more than sector-specific uh, uh, incentives that the, uh, uh, that the corporate India is asking for, it is asking for 
rationalization, rationalization of laws, okay. simplification of laws, mm -hmm. and also transparency in tax administration which reduce litigation. Mm -hmm. That is what they are looking at because it is expected that in view of the government's uh, uh, declared uh, mm -hmm. objective of reducing and phasing out incentives and exemptions, exactly. you cannot expect uh, special incentives for any particular sector. So taxation is a big demand that corporate India wants. You know, just in one quick line, how necessary would uh, crucial reforms like the black money bill or GST be for corporate India to actually be confident about the government or have more hope from the government? Yes, the black money bill, uh, while uh, it has not shown the success that uh, one expected uh, in mm -hmm. the past, uh, the black money bill is very, very essential considering that the government has been yeah. continuously speaking yeah. about uh, bringing in across, sectors. Yeah, yeah. across sectors. So, uh, on one hand, one cannot or will not expect a reduction in the penalty uh, levels, okay. but one would expect a further window. Hmm. Of uh, imp, uh, you know uh, amnesty to to be able to make the declaration, right. that is something that one would expect from uh, uh, the black money bill. Okay. Uh, GST, of course, is a long-standing demand, and I think the earlier it is settled, the better it is because it requires corporate India to be really prepared for it, and a lot of work will have to be done for them to be ready. Okay, so the budget session is going on. We'll have. Some answers at least, hopefully by next week. Thank you, Riyaz, for joining in in the studio. Pleasure to have you with us, as always. So uh, we'll Thank keep you. getting you uh, various budget expectations through the day. But with that, it's time to wrap up this edition of Reporters Diary. Many thanks for watching. Have a lovely evening ahead. And, of course, stay tuned to CNBC TV 18, a special crystal ball conversation with Pankaj Vaish up next.